Thank you for tuning back in to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Father, hide me behind the cross. There'll be none of me but all of you. Speak of these lips of clay and everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted and more from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Chris, God bless you. Sister Diane, God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to wait for a few more people to tune back in. Frank, God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Clark, God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, glory, glory. Hallelujah. There we go. Hallelujah. Gonna wait just a few more minutes for a few more people to tune in. We're gonna get started. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, my brother chaplain. God bless you. Barry, Tanya, God bless y'all. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 12, uh, through... Uh, 13, 12 and 13. Lamentations 3, 12 and 13. Amen. And I'm going to entitle this message today, God's got a bow that you didn't know. Hallelujah. God's got a bow that you didn't know. Hallelujah. Now the writer of the book of Lamentations, if you didn't know it, is the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah took down the book of Lamentations. Lamentations 3 and 12. He drew his bow and made me a target for his arrows. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it goes on to talk about how he felt when the Lord pierced his heart. Now, he was talking about the way the people were feeling or was going to feel when they ran away from God. And the prophet Jeremiah was saying, this is how you're going to feel when you go away from God. God pricked their heart, pricked the heart. When God pricks your heart, everybody's going to think you're crazy. Because you're going to run after God. Because let me tell you, in another book, one of the books of Psalms, it says that God has a cord tied around the arrow. Why does he need a cord tied around the arrow to pull in the prey? Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Also, I believe it has something to do with the silver cord in the book of Ecclesiastes. I believe it's possible that that cord is linked together. With that, with, with that, because it's the soul of a man that God is after. Amen? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. There is so many scriptures on the bow of God, but there's a bow you did not know about the Lord. Amen? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus.
he drew his bow and made me the target for his arrows. I'm here to say this by the Holy Ghost for somebody. The prayers you've been praying for your children have not been forgotten. They've not fallen on deaf ears either. God says to tell you by the Holy Ghost, I have set my sights upon your children and they will not escape me. They will be brought into the kingdom. Your children and grandchildren shall serve the Lord, saith the Spirit of the living God. Let your bow go. Stop shooting darts at people. Stop shooting arrows at people. Let your bow go and let me set my sight on this situation, saith the Spirit of the living God. Is somebody getting this today? Thank you, Jesus. The Lord said it in the last message, and I feel like I need to say it again. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. You might have ran out of ways to reach your children, but thus saith the Lord, I have not run out of ways to reach your children. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He pierced my heart, verse 13. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. God is literally setting his sights on those that are lost. Now the old song goes, you can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time, sooner or later got to cut you down, you can run on for a long time, amen. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost, glory to God. But let me tell you, friends, God's got a bow that you didn't know, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord will let you find calamity to bring you your sanity. The Lord will let you go through some things if you don't want to serve him to bring you to his side. Amen? A lot of people are going through a lot of stuff just because they won't serve God. Well, Lord, I know you called me to preach, but I ain't going to do it. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to run out here and do what I want to do, what I dang well please, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. It's what people tell God. That's the stupidest thing you can tell God because he's going to get you. He's going to run after you, and in his grace, he's going to catch you. But before, he, before you get his grace, you're going to find some grief if you're running away from God. Somebody needed to hear this message this morning. I don't know who this is for, but... The Holy Ghost had me preach this morning, this message. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I was about not even to preach this morning. I mean, I was under an attack this morning. Everything that could come against me came against me. But the Lord told me, he said, Son, get yourself together and get in my presence. Worship me. Get up there and do the video this morning. Get get up to, to the top of the hill on where you're living now and do the video. Because there's somebody that needs to hear this message. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Today, somebody might be feeling the sting of the Lord's arrow. Amen. Amen. You're right, Sister Diane. Let me say this. Amen. Psalms 127 now, if you got your Bibles, turn over there. Psalms 127, 3 through 5. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. But you got 
three arrows that we're going to mention today. I just mentioned the first arrow was the arrow of the Lord. The Lord's got an arrow. You've got an arrow. But your enemy's got an arrow. But I'm going to get into that in a minute. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to get deeper. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Children are a heritage. Psalms 127, 3 through 5. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Offsprings a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior. Are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not put to shame. They will not be put to shame when they contend. That means when they fight their opponents at the gates. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. When they go to the arena to meet the enemy, they've already been trained in how to fight through faith. So when they face the enemy, the Father who's blessed you, who's got every arrow you could ever think to come against the enemy with, has already won your heart and he's teaching you how to win your children's heart to him. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When they go into the arena to face their enemy, they shall not be overtaken. Somebody needed to hear that. They shall not be overtaken. Amen. Now when it's talking about a quiver, what is a quiver? A quiver is an arrow pouch. It's an arrow sack that carries the arrows of the future. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God's word shoots straight like an arrow and it cuts hard like an axe. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they are counted, when they contend with their opponents in court in the court or at the gate is another translation amen thank you holy ghost glory to god hallelujah lord jesus hey brother jim good morning thank you holy ghost thank you lord jesus let me tell you this Isaiah 54, 17 says that no weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises against you, you shall condemn it in judgment. For this is the inheritance of the sons of God, and their vindication is from me. Remember what he said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and in full I shall repay. Bless you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now it says in Ephesians chapter 6 and 16, it says, having done, in Ephesians 6, 16, it says, and above all of these, take up the shield of faith. Amen? All these other weapons of our warfare that are not carnal. Take up the shield of faith that you may be able to, that you may be able to quench the fiery darts of the devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Now, when there was somebody in battle in the days of Rome, Paul learned this by the Lord, and he took it into teaching. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. He said that it would quench the fiery darts of the devil, the shield of faith. When two Roman soldiers were fighting, they would stand back to back for each other now 
and would lift their shields on top of each other and lock their shields together in battle. Well, now, amen. The Bible said, Open wide the heavenly gates that the King of glory might come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, mighty in battle. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. But we're locking the shields together. They're locking the shields together. And when the fiery darts hit them, because they had already been soaked in water, when the fiery darts hit them, they would go... <laughs> you can laugh at that if you want to. It, <laughs> it fizzled out. It was not strong enough to penetrate the armor. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Plus, because the armor had already been saturated in the water, the shield had been saturated in water. It took out the dart of the enemy. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Maybe you're facing a fiery dart today. God loves you and he will deliver you. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 13, verse 17, talks about the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And the prophet Isaiah I'm sorry, the prophet Elisha. I don't know why I said Isaiah. I just read Isaiah. Elisha, Elisha, however you want to say it, Elisha prayed a blessing and a command over the hands. Good morning, Brother Robin. Over the hands of the king, commanded a blessing. And he told him to hit the arrow a certain amount of times. And he only did it half of the times that he was commanded to do it. And he said, because you didn't do it all the way, he said, you'll only win half the battle. But nevertheless, you will get the victory. And he said, behold, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And he opened a window and he shot the arrow from the king's hand. And the king won a victory. Because the prophet commanded a blessing from the hands of the king. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I do love you, Lord. Amen. There's a lot of people. Hey, Brother Jeffrey, God bless you. There's a lot of people under spiritual attack right now. Hear me now. But let me tell you, God is going to quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Amen. But he's going to use your faith to do it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Final uh, book, and I close. Amen. Amen. Uh, Psalm 7, 11, and actually 7, 10 through 12. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. But the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. God has got a bow that you didn't know. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And he set your sight, he set his sights on the enemy, but he's also set his sights to rescue your family. There's two spirits that have set their sights with arrows. And that's, the first one is God the Father. The second one is the enemy. They've set their sights with an arrow to penetrate the heart of your family. And only one side's going to win. That's going to be the ultimate side, which is our, our mighty God. Amen. Our Father in heaven's going to win the battle. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Psalms 7, 10 through 12. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. My shield is God most high, who saves the upright in heart. God is a, a righteous judge. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. He is a righteous judge. He does not relent. He will sharpen it. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. Amen. He has prepared his deadly weapons and he will make ready his flaming arrows. Amen. So no matter what the enemy might have planned for your life, God's got a better plan. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. God has set his sights on your enemy but he's also set his sights to save your family. Amen. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because God's got an arrow of deliverance. Amen. Sister Landa, good morning. God bless you. Brother Carpenter, God bless you. Bless your Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I feel the presence of God here this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. The Bible speaks about missing the mark. Paul spoke about missing the mark. That word missing the mark is translated in Greek and in Hebrew, mananois, meaning to miss the mark. It's as an arrow of an archer being headed for a target. Mananois, meaning to miss the mark. The arrow is pointed at the target, but the mark gets missed. God has never missed his target. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And he set his arrow... toward the target. We, Mananois, we miss the mark while shooting the arrow sometimes. But God is a good God and he will guide our hands like the prophet guided the hands of the king. So will God guide your hands and will help you shoot it straight if you'll just trust the hands of God guiding your soul. Amen. Could somebody shout praise the Lord on that? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. If you're lost or backslid, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead. I believe that you and you alone are God. Fill me, cleanse me, wash me. Fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Brother Clark. The enemy's after our ministry with his fiery darts, but God's got fiery arrows. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Lord's telling me to encourage the mamas and papas and aunts and uncles and everybody else, sisters and brothers, who've been praying for their family. Don't give up. God's got his, God's got them and he's set his sight upon them. And like I said, there is a, string attached to that era in one of the book of Psalms. God's going to pull them in. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What an awesome message this morning. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want you to pray 
Let me, let me pray for you. If you're sick in your body, I curse every devil of sickness. I command it to loose your body, loose your mind, loose your spirit, let you go free. I command a creative miracle in your body right now, from the body part room in heaven, new body parts in Jesus' name. Amen, Clark. Amen, brother. Right now, create a miracle in Jesus' name. Every symptom and sickness, every disease and infirmity, go and do not return in the name of Christ Jesus, I declare it, and call it done by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, my phone's about to die. If you are bound up, I curse every bondage in Jesus' name. I command every devil to loose you and let you go free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every bondage in Jesus' name be broken. Every addiction receive an eviction by holy conviction. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost of God. Freedom, as Mel Gibson would say, Braveheart. Freedom, yes, God. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The Spirit of the Lord is here, and I'm going to get my blessing right now. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. According to Nahum 1 9, the attack cannot come back, and he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. We overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Get up, get out, and get going. Testify to what God has done for you today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, have you never been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire? Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. And out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Do it now, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, fire. 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 Washing the water of the word. In Jesus' name, I feel the Holy Ghost fire all over me. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. Write to me. Let me know what God has done for you. Kid Henry, K I D D H E N R Y 617 at gmail.com. I want to celebrate with you what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Kid Henry, K I D D H E N O Y, 617 at gmail.com. Thank God for everybody who tuned into H Hall Revivals. It's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother H R, and it's always the hour for revival. I'll see you in the next meeting, or I'll see you in the air in heaven. I love you. God bless. Bye bye. And if you hadn't, please share this message. Amen.